How's it going guys? Adam back here with another Thursday video on OnlineBookClub.org's official YouTube channel. Now today I'm doing something a little different. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of adventure vlogging, taking you guys to different bookstores. Um, last week I did the $5 book challenge. Today, I'm going to introduce you to my good friend. And here's the deal. I'm going to be honest with you. My bookshelf is in no good condition right now. And what I mean, it's a beautiful bookshelf. The wood is absolutely amazing. It feels so smooth and soft and it's one of my best friends. But all my books are all over the place. Not in any order right now. It was in an order, but I, I've kind of just thrown all the new books in the front. It does not look good. However, I still want to show you my books. Just turn the light on. And it's very, it's very, very messy. Like I said, I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm going to do, I want to do a bookshelf tour in a few weeks where I clean it up and I'm kind of color coordinate everything and make it look really nice and cool. Today, it's not for you to meet my bookshelf. It's to meet the books in the bookshelf. Every book has a specific story. And obviously, that's the most obvious thing I've ever said in my life. I don't mean the story that's in here. What I mean is that each book I've read on this on this shelf has a different story and a different meaning to me. I'm gonna go over some of the books in my shelf and talk about the part of my life I was in when I read those books. Each Harry Potter book I've read were all at different points in my life. 2014, I read both of these, early 2014. Christmas time, um, 2014. I read the 4th and 5th on winter break of 20, going into 2015, February on a plane, I finished this, 26, 2015, and then March 2015 before a trip, I finished the Harry Potter series. I have a very good memory, so I remember usually exactly when I read the books. And my ex-girlfriend got me into all the Harry Potter books, so they were like, it was like our thing, it was really cool that we got to share something as awesome as Harry Potter. I'll give you the sun. This book right here by Jandy Nelson. I read it on the time I was graduating college. And I, I believe it was right around Mother's Day. Because I remember, I think we came over Mother's Day and I read that book. Christine, we had our first, for those of you who don't know, I'm a part of a YouTube channel called Settle Down Kids. We had our first show ever. And I read that book during that period of when we were doing the show. Love Letters to the Dead, I absolutely love this book. I read this book at the start of the NBA season, which is October of last year. And I remember the Knicks, I'm a Knicks fan, first Knicks game of the season was on, and I was reading that book during the timeouts in, the, in between quarters. The Last Great Ride, it's a book about Brandon Tartikoff. He's the, um, he was a big, I think he was an executive at NBC, and he actually passed away, and I read this last summer. 1984, oh my god, 1984 is a classic by George Orwell. Um, I love the TV show Big Brother, so my parents got us um, the 1984 book that revolves around what is called Big Brother, and it's a governmental system. And I read this 2014 September while I was in New York City on a, on a YouTube trip. So yeah, I, I remember reading specifically in bed with my phone light as a book light, which is, hey, you know what? Any way to get it done, right guys? No safety in numbers. This is such an important book to me. This is the first book I read that got me back into reading. I read this in May of 2014, and it was the first book I, I bought in like years and years and years, and I really enjoyed it, and from there, the rest is history. Stephen King, there's It, there's um, The Talesman, Rose Matter. I got a lot of these books from either my ex-girlfriend or my parents at um, when they went to like yard sales and things like that. I read this on Thanksgiving, back in black. I, by uh, Zoe Dean. I got a fight with my family that day, and I remember going to my room and shutting the door and reading this book. Good old memories. Percy Jackson series, I read the three of the books, all at different times though. Um, two last year, no, all three, I think I read, yeah, all three in 2015. Literally, you guys saw the video, I just read this a week or two ago. Walking Dead book, I only read one of these, and I read the first one last March. Modern Lovers, I read it this summer. It was an absolutely amazing book, I really enjoyed it. A lot of people talk about music and talk about, they see pictures and they remind them of different times of their life. These books remind me of different times of my life. I see a book and I say, oh, that was such a great time. I was doing this, this, and this. I was um, spending time with this person or doing whatever. And that makes me happy. I could go back and look at any of my books and say, that was a good time, or wow, that book helped me through a shitty time, you know? So it all depends. My books are all kind of like bookmarks in my life. The, the story of my life is bookmarked by a bunch of these books. And I'm just kind of going off the fly with this channel, trying new things. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed that video, if you did, please get a big, 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 big thumbs up below. Also, go down there, subscribe for videos every single Thursday for book-related content. And I hope to keep putting out good content. I really like what I've been putting out lately. It means the world to me and OBC that you guys are watching. Shout out to last week's user of the week. It was you. Thank you so much. You are awesome. If you want to be next week's user of the week, please comment one of your books and tell me why it means something to you. Tell me, like I was telling a story about my books, tell me a story about one of your books. So yeah. I will see you guys next Thursday, and remember, keep on reading. I hope it's not blurry. If it's blurry, I'm sorry.